What's up, YouTube? This is Gregor X Clutch King here, bringing you how to unlock the LTO mask in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So where you're gonna want to go to is Inca Camina, located on the bottom left corner of your map, right by Bukara. So what you're really looking for will be the ancient cemetery, right? And where I'm at, I'm showing the longitude and latitude of the very first cemetery on the bottom right hand corner of my screen. So watch for that. Um, when you find the cemetery, you will know it's a cemetery because there will be a bunch of candles lit up and it will say hold X or square to investigate. I already have investigated them in this clip because there was an error when I first recorded. So sorry. But um, when you go up to it, it will say investigate. There, This is um three steps. And you will know you started the challenge because a tab will notify you saying this is one of three steps for the OTO legend. But that is... I'm, that was the very first um, grave. I'll take you to the second grave. <clears throat> so basically, there's three steps. One of three. This is the very first one showing you three cemeteries. That's step number one. I'll be coming up on uh, the second cemetery. I'll show you the longitude and latitude on the bottom right hand corner when I bring up the map. Um, again, you want to look for candles that are lit up at night. This is a lot easier because you can see them from the sky. But um, anyways. So the part one will be three cemeteries you have to investigate. You could hear them too. Um, before you investigate, you hear some like screams in the cemetery. So this longitude and latitude. For the next step after you find the three graves, we'll be clearing out three mines. I'll show you the location, the longitude, latitude, everything on all the mines. And then the final step after clearing the mines, will be fighting LTO himself. So, I'm sorry, but a little late for it for spoiler alert. <laughs> I like, um, oh, this is the location of the third grave. So shout out to um, Ryan, the one helping me in the video. He is standing by the third location of the grave. He ended up shooting out all the candles. So I'll show you the longitude and latitude again for this one. But he ended up shooting the candles, so sorry for that. You see, he left two that are lit three maybe yeah three there you go and you can tell this is cemetery a the candles are lit up you can't tell it on my screen really because you shot them all and you'll see a newspaper on the steps so i'll show you the longitude and latitude of it right here Ron, this is technically on the Bukara side across the border of those two so um, i'll fast forward and take you to the second step which is to locate the first mine <clears throat> and um, I'm back so I ended up cutting the whole trip flying there so where you're gonna want to look for is the old silver mine located in Pukara this is just right above the cemetery you went to so we were clearing it out a little bit and we ended up getting reinforcements so where you want to go basically is into the cemetery there will be hostiles here and there will be hostiles in the mine so the mine is located right up oh, there we go, we ain't shot at. Alright, he took care of that. Grenade. <clears throat> Anyways, the mine will be located up here towards your left. And you can hear the demonic screams when you walk in. These are the basically the same sounds you will hear when you go to the graves. And where you're gonna want to go to is I believe this is you're gonna have to follow left. Every mine you go to, just follow the left hand side and just go all the way to and you're gonna see a group of enemies you're gonna need to clear out after you clear them out you can tell these are enemies because they'll have like a red face paint on them all as shown on the screen but um yeah they're basically the followers of LTO <clears throat> anyways you're gonna want to go to this guy and hold X your square and this is the very first step of part two of the challenge see legend acquired so i'll show you the location of the next two mines and i will cut out the video right here and show you the next location Alrighty, i am back showing you the second location of the mine this is bukaro mine i'll show you where it is located from the old silver mine the very first mine where you want to go this is more towards the right side of Bukhara 
And if you haven't located this little bub, I think it's called Car Village where you can fast travel. But there's a bunch of enemies here, so you're gonna want to take them out. We went loud, and well, like right there, you see the video. We had reinforcements pop up. I had an issue on this guy killing him, but oh well. Yeah, you can see the struggle right here. I thought I killed him there with the hit marker because come on, it's a mini gun shooting at you basically. So after I take these guys out, the mine is located right under me, and just a heads up, you're going to want to take out the alarm so you don't get reinforcements, but anyways, um, we'll be, I'm showing you the mine, it's right here after I land, and again, you can hear the demonic screams from the very first mine, so this is mine number two of step number two of the challenge, and this is the mine. I'll, I use night vision because the mine is usually dark. And when you come up up here to either go left or right, you're gonna want to go left. I said earlier, you're always gonna want to go left. And this one, basically, what you're gonna want to do is just clear out the mine, clear out his cult followers, LTO's followers. After that, you, I'll show you the location. So coming up here, you will see. I think there's like three or four enemies that you have to worry about. I thought I killed him right there, but um, anyways, I'll show you uh. Oh, there was another one hiding. There you go. <laughs> but the statues right there showing you or basically telling you this is a second mine. So I'll be cutting out the video and take you to the third mine. All you had to do is clear it out. Alrighty. Alrighty, and I'm back after cutting it out. This one is a little tricky to um, find. So you're you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. This is I'll show you from the Picara mine. It is located on this longitude and latitude. I'll try to zoom in in um, Malka. And I had a skill point located there, so it was a lot easier for me to find. There will be no, if you don't have that skill point there, there's nothing that really tell you where it is. So I'm marking it for you guys on the longitude and latitude. Pay attention to that. This is in the corner of Malka. Really neat, close to um, Pukara. So, what you're going to want to do again, take out the enemies there. And I just go ahead and grab the metal. Why not? I'm already here. So, um, after I take out these, I grab the metal. And I believe, yeah, Ryan will be uh, is taking out all the enemies already in the cave. So, you grab, the, if you, or like I said, you haven't grabbed the um, metal, go ahead and grab the metal. And go ahead and start turning on your night vision. Because it is really dark in this mine. So, this is number three. So, this is the third mine of step two of three to get the LTO math. So what you want to go is go left. Like I said earlier, it's always going to be left. It gives you an option. And there'll be a bunch of enemies throughout the mine. He ended up taking them out. And there'll be another group of hostiles coming up. I ended up turning around shooting him before he shot me in the back and yeah, killed me. But um, Main's already taking out some of these enemies. There's probably like four or five enemies in this one. So a bunch of them are going to be hiding behind boxes, so um, just take note of that. Anyways, I'll show you after you clear it out where the um, other statue will be located, and this is the third statue, the very last one. So the first statue, you had to investigate. The next two um, statues, you just had to clear out the room. So after you cleared it out, you see a statue. I'll show you to where LTO will be. <clears throat> and I will cut the video and bring you straight to where LT will be located. Alrighty, I am back. And this is where LT will be located in Pukara. Literally, Pukara. <laughs> and it's towards the right side, right above the mines. And I had an issue earlier where it did not save my recording. And I was pretty upset when I found out. So I'll literally show you the strat basically to kill LT. So you would really want to come up here, whip out your drone, I accidentally whipped out my binoculars, but whip out your drone, and then there will be a whole sacrifice happening right there where the red flares are, well technically, they could be red flares and dead bodies, but let's just go with flares because we don't want to keep it, make it too graphic here. So what you're basically going to want to do is, you know I said, try keep it, don't keep it, uh, try not to keep it too graphic, you will basically be dropping motor strikes on... LTO, there will be like four other people around LTO and two civilians. You will kill two, one or two civilians, but it won't end your thing. So after you kill them, 
you'll end up it'll give you uh, some tabs saying congrats you completed the challenge in the legend of el tio and you'll be awarded with the broken el tio mask which i'll be showing you on the screen and yeah that is basically it for the video and i hope you enjoyed the video and this was helpful and please like and subscribe and peace